like an angel set me free. Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, my lens is broken on my camera. Um, how are we all doing? Hope you're all well. Of course, happy start to a brand new month. How is it May already? Please somebody tell me. Well, my hair's a little bit poufant, seems I've only just styled it. I've had a bit of a slower morning this morning and um, I basically, Went for a 5k run with Barney, which we're getting into. There's like a local organised park run every Saturday. Um, so we did that, got back, got showered, breakfast, all that jazz. I need to put on some washing as well, actually. Today, for you guys, by the time you're watching this, it is the start of a brand new month. So I'm doing this kind of series of vlogs, sharing with you some monthly favourites from the previous month, which I'll do at the end of the video. And just kind of having a bit of a reset day, a bit of an organised, a bit of a clean, tidy up, whatever it is that I need to do in that week, that day, or whatever of filming. So today on my agenda, I need to tackle in our spare bedroom, we've got some drawers, which are basically all of my stuff in there, but there are some towels in there as well. So I want to reorganise everything. It's basically my underwear gym and pyjama drawers. So I need to categorize that at the minute they're all just kind of shoved in there with a few towels in there as well. So I want to ideally get all the towels and bedding in under bed storage to pop under the bed either in our bedroom or in the spare bedroom and um, essentially free up the drawer space and remove all the towels that I have got in there to be able to have enough room for all my underwear gym and pyjamas because at the minute it feels like it's jam packed in there. So that's on my agenda today, one little productive task to tick off a list that is I feel like at the minute a never ending to do list, I've got so much to do in terms of prepping the house ready for the extension, obviously if you're following along with the renovation updates we are currently in the process of renovating our basement which for me is like it's probably been the most exciting project of the lot and we are also uh, building the side and back wraparound extension all the kind of foundations and footings at this stage but soon enough we're going to be breaking into the house adding a big steel opening it all up so I need to just ensure that the back room and kind of the corridor area is basically clear for that so I feel like I'm not going to tackle that today I just want to just have the one to-do list ticked off, um, at least today anyway, with them drawers. So that's on my agenda. There's something about a slow morning that, like today, what we've done, we shouted Barney up. He had a nice cuddle with us this morning before Tom went off for his cricket and stuff like that, which he's doing today out and about. So we had a bit of a slower morning and, because usually during the week we get up at about 6, 6.30. And even though I woke up at that time, we just took it slower you know, leisurely morning, did my run, wash my hair, style my hair, did my makeup. It's already like lunchtime. I did also get, it's actually over there, I got um, in celebration of World Earth Day, I think it was, or Earth Day, whatever it's called, was it last week? From Cheshire Oaks, they very kindly sent a PR package, so I'll open that with you. I've had a sneak peek of some of the brands that they've included. Before I head down, get my washing on, show you guys those bits, get on with the organization i do have a sponsor for today's video very kindly skillshare have partnered with me to um basically share with you what skillshare is if you've never heard of it before you might have if you're a regular viewer because i have worked with them in the past and talked about them but essentially they're an online platform online learning platform with loads of classes that you can take to improve skills master skills learn new skills there's thousands and thousands of classes for you to take across all different sectors from photography to videography um interior design which is an area that i like to do classes from i will of course leave a link in the description box for you guys to check it out and i also have a code which which is Freya Farrington for the first 
1,000 people to sign up using my code. All my link, you will get one month free of charge. So easy to use. If you've got a new passion, new fan passion for something, then I would definitely recommend checking it out. And a class that I have personally been taking, which is a, it's all about a Huga home, Danish interior design principles for coziness and comfort, which is been really like warming with us doing the renovations it's really just made me realize how I want my spaces to look once we have fully renovated this house and that class is with a lady called Anna Marco so she's just got such a lovely voice a calming presence I really enjoy that class and then another one that I've looked into they've got quite a few classes on calligraphy so I think that might be something that I want to do in future so thank you to Skillshare for very kindly working with me on today's video I'm gonna go put a wash load on uh, and then I'm gonna share with you actually the Cheshire Oaks bits because I do want to crack into them because there's some chocolate involved and I want to get it open as soon as possible. Wash load on. Cheshire Oaks bits in hand. Thought I'd come into my bedroom actually, just for a bit of change of scenery, but also look what else arrived. I was having a flick through it this morning in bed actually. Um, from the White Company, their summer brochure is out. You can just request one of these for free via their website. What I like to do is go through them, especially because I do, I like to do my kind of dupes videos that I do. I feel like the camera is very dark. Is that a bit better? Anyway, because of the dupes videos that I like to do, I do often take inspiration from these brochures and just kind of bookmark a few things, circle a few things. Um, they've got that, some of their new scents in here. They've actually got, I've seen, they do some new oils. So I'm a big fan of the oils anyway. And the fact that they now do these, or, organic aromatherapy oils i feel like they might be a little bit stronger so maybe we'll get get one of those to try soon we've got loads of oh, outdoor living summer living loads of inspiration for outdoor dining which i feel like this year we're not really going to get with the renovations but definitely something that we're really looking forward to having in the future to be able to have a garden space like this which we didn't have at all in our last house it feels like such a luxury, honestly. I cannot, especially as now we've got a dog to be able to just open the doors, he run free in the garden. We've got the barbecue going, have friends over. So I am very much looking forward to that day. I do feel like it might be next summer that we end up doing that. But anyway, uh, yeah, so bookmarked a few things within here. It's one of my favorite things to do. As soon as you get a new white company brochure, just make a coffee, grab a snack. Just sit down and circle some favourites. Um, anyway, so I'm going to share with you the bits I got from Cheshire Oaks. They very kindly sent me this in the mail in this beautiful Rituals uh, reusable bag, which is a perfect little shopper tote. It did come with this little label, which I thought was so adorable. It's part of the um, tinymiracles.com forward slash rituals. You get one of these little bracelets. This bag makes a difference one miracle at a time. So with it being a day they have quite a lot of sustainable brands at Cheshire Oaks you might have seen Cheshire Oaks vlog that I did recently if you don't know what it is it's like a designer outlets but um it's not too far from us so love a good browse there and this um is kind of a, an accumulation of a few of their more sustainable brands so firstly this is the this is the um, special treat that I wanted to dive into and get open. So Hotel Chocolat have include, included, I should say, one of their everything Sleekster palettes. I, Sleekster? Have I made that up? That's what they used to be called. Oh yeah, they are, the Sleekster palettes. So they've got loads of different flavors. Two of each, which is good if you're sharing as a couple. Oh no, I tell a lie. There's only one of the carrot cake one of the dizzy praline and also one of the peanut butter is anyone else whenever i say peanut butter now i just think of that tiktok with that little boy who spells out 
Nutella, but then it says peanut butter. Anyway, kids spelling stuff out and then they say the complete wrong word is so funny. Uh, okay, so from Rituals themselves, they have also included this within this PR mailer. This Ritual of Sakura Magic Touch Body Cream. This is in the rice, milk, and cherry blossom. I do love Rituals products. Apparently, Little Birdie told me that they were made in the same factories as Tom Ford products are. So I do love the fragrances. However, of all of them, I'm not gonna lie, this is probably my least favorite just because of that cherry blossom. It's quite floral. Um, and as you guys know, I prefer the more muskier. If I'm gonna go lighter for summer, then I would say herbier scents like basil and neroli, that kind of, that kind of scent. But anyway, um, they did also include this, which I definitely am gonna try and I think I'm gonna love this. The Soothing Organic Herbal Tea in Lemongrass and Rose Hip shells. Rose hips meant to be really good for your skin, isn't it? I can't get it open. Whatever. Let's move on. I'll try one of those later. And then this bag inside, we've got a little Starbucks reusable cup. I do actually really have one of those. So now I've got a second spare. I don't know where my other one went. I think it's in my car. Okay, then this again, I didn't know Molten Brown did refills. So I've got quite a few Molten Brown products in i quite like the shower gels and then also in our spare bathroom i've got a couple of molten brown products like to have on display in there and then this is the coastal cypress and sea fennel i think this usually comes in the blue i think it's a blue color and then lastly a couple of bits from when i was unwrapping this i was like it's a mug so it's probably going to be either le creuse which they've got cheshire oaks or denby and it's Denby. So Denby mugs are lovely. I love the kind of rustic look to this one. It's got like the three tone. It's called Kiln Ridged Mug. So the mug that they sent and then they also um, included the bowl. I don't know if it's them. Is it a matching bowl? Yeah, I guess it is. The Kiln Cereal Bowl. I feel like this cereal bowl has less blue in it in comparison to this one because that section around the middle is quite bluey but anyway lovely lovely little surprise gift from cheshire so thank you thank you to them right i feel like like i said because the morning's got away with me i'll clear that up in a minute <laughs> because the morning's got away with me i feel like it's lunchtime already in fact let me before i go and make myself some lunch i'll show you the before of these drawers that i need to tackle today so this is our spare bedroom and you walk in you've got the bed here and then the bathroom over there which we still at some point need to pop on a sliding door and then this is the unit here that i've got look that drawer's not even shut properly that's annoying it's probably because it's so full with stuff that it's just forcing it bursting at the seams forcing it to get to to open anyway these drawers are from ikea they're called the hemnes drawers and then on top i just have my william wood mirror my aldi white company dupe lamp and then i've just added a couple of bits recently you probably recognize these three things the live beautiful book and cereal magazine that i got from amazon this is from that brand jysk yusk i think you pronounce it and then i've added these two recently so H&M Home popped in there at the Trafford Centre, picked up this sun-dried linen room spray, which smells lovely, and my dad stayed recently, so I used this, and it's honestly, it smells amazing. I also lit this candle, so I need to cut the wicks, as you can tell, they need trimming. This is the good old classic Jo Malone in pomegranate noir, but anyway, the drawers. So, without going into too much detail, this top drawer is all the kind of overspill of underwear and socks and everything and then pretty much all of this drawer is filled with towels so hence why i want some kind of underbed storage so that it frees up that entire drawer and um, these drawers they're not fully even these two are slightly smaller than the bottom one so i feel like of the three items underwear and socks gym and pajamas i feel like my underwear and socks does take up the most room so i feel like i'm gonna use this bottom drawer for underwear and socks at the minute it's just pajamas in fact pajamas do take up a lot of room as well though um we'll see we'll see how i go but uh pajamas and gym stuff in here and then this is the drawer that is the most full to the brim and it's all my underwear so yeah i need a good sort through it is kind of categorized in terms of tops bottoms and socks over there but 
still need a good sort through, especially socks. I feel like socks are the bane of my life. When you lose one and then you don't have a matching pair, I just need to rummage through, have a good sort through, pair everything up first and foremost, and then decide which ones I actually keep and which ones I can just get rid of. I do have a renovation vlog coming soon, but I'll just flip me around. Seeing as though I'm sat in my filming room, or stood in my filming room, you can kind of see the extension. Ooh, exciting stuff. All of that area is gonna be the patio. And then this is where the house extension comes out to. All of that, of course, coming very soon in a renovation vlog. Right, let's try and decide what I'm gonna have for lunch. I feel quite hungry after that run. Do you? You had your breakfast. I do usually give them a treat midday though when I have my lunch. I feel like we could maybe go out and get something for lunch. What do you reckon, Barney? Although I do actually have this pasta leftover. Yeah, let's have this. Spinach and ricotta, tortelloni. I only had half of it um, because I was eating it solo and this is a portion for two. It only cooks in two minutes. Are we having pasta? Yeah, I've got a little bit of salad as well that I'll just pop with it. When I also got some manchego cheese, we'll add that with it too. Is this the last time I can see you? You know why? Is it the truth that you? Take a walk down a swing in the sea That will mean everything, yeah, everything to me Can we get out of this one? Waiting and missing I never thought you would leave me here We can get out of this one A tunnel of feelings Just like we got everything else but I see you honey this is in no way funny we will find our way we back together but right now there's stormy weather Right. Back in the spare room. Got myself a bin bag. Any old underwear and gym bits and PJs. Don't tend to uh, donate those ones, so I do just have a good organise, and the ones that are really tatty, and I'll just get rid of. Right, new battery is in. I've made myself another coffee. Lunch was delicious. Decided to sit out in in the um, in the garden with Barney. Seen as though, in fact, I'm just gonna have to prop you on this Joe Malone candle. I reckon. Um, yeah, it's a little bit windy, but whilst we've got the sunshine, I like to enjoy it. So I sat outside, made myself a nice coffee. Got my chocolates at the ready. I've actually had two. I've had the uh, Eaton Mess one, which is like, if you like white chocolate, it's delish. So I've had an Eaton Mess. What was that one? Oh, that one. Um, salted caramel something like that. What is it? Caramel cheesecake. There we go. Might just have one more whilst. whilst we're here. Let's go for that carrot cake one. It's a good one, this one. Mmm, look how bright orange <laughs> that middle is. So delish. I think just for ease, I'm going to empty out all of the drawers, maybe out here, so that I can have a good sort through and organise of everything and start with empty drawers. I feel like that's Marie Kondo method, isn't it? It's, uh, is it Marie Kondo method? Or have I just made that up? <laughs> Where you just basically start with an empty, an empty blank canvas. This is why I love watching 
if you've seen um, the Sort Your Life out, the Stacey Solomon with Mr. Carrington's on there. It's, I say, I feel like maybe not so much in our situation right now because of us having moved house recently, but just gives you an opportunity. They basically hire a warehouse and just empty the entire contents of their house and lay it all out in a warehouse and then basically just have access to see everything in front of them really whittle it down before putting it back in the house because even moving house you do tend to just cart boxes and sometimes if it gets a little bit stressful and you think oh just or like a bit last minute just put everything in and we'll sort it out when we get there you end up like holding on to stuff but anyway if you like a good clear out and organize you'll probably enjoy that if you've not seen it already these straight for the bin these little inserts you know whenever you get little bralettes or crop tops that come with the padding in the middle i end up just binning them because and these socks as well these are primark socks and they are useless when you wash them they go so tight and uncomfortable that is a pair that i never reach for and i always look at thinking i should probably get rid of them bras i think i'm gonna have a good whistle down on bras as well actually because i just don't wear them i wear the where are they the little bralette crop tops like this these are the primark ones I, in fact primark are probably my favorite i've got a couple from the lounge lounge the lounge from lounge oh my god i can't get my words out like this as well little triangle bralettes that just so comfortable they are what I reach for, not a underwired bra. Mind you, I do. I have one, it's maybe worth keeping one strapless nude for maybe a specific outfit if I need it. Yeah, that's probably worth keeping. I'll do my underwear off camera, I think, and then, um, and then be able to share with you the pyjamas once I get going on that, that drawer. Oh, and also I've got these to pop in from Dunelm. They've just been sat in this top drawer waiting for me to empty and sort through them. These are four pounds that in the scent linen and they are from, I was gonna say from the edited live range, but I don't think they are. I think they're just from Dunelm. You get a four fragrance drawer liners. Now I've only got three drawers here, but we'll see how big they are. One of them, I can maybe have two in or I can put one in another drawer elsewhere. Oh, they're stripey. That's what they look like. Oh my god, they smell lovely. They smell like, well, I mean, the scent is linen. It's like fresh laundry, but dried, that's dried outside. That's what it smells like. It smells quite summery. Ooh, they are lovely. I do already have these dividers within these drawers. So they're just like uh, linen, draw divider type things this is in my underwear drawer i feel like i'm going to keep this within an underwear drawer just because it's quite easy then to keep everything organized these linen ones are from primark but then i've also got some from i think these ones are from ikea just these plain white ones oh, look, socks galore socks everywhere this is barney's dream that and to get into that if anyone's got a golden i feel like you'll relate to me well, maybe it's not just a golden thing but socks are the best thing ever apparently so this is what we've been left with we've got three completely empty drawers and then a hallway full of craziness this is what was in the top drawer as well the spare bedding for our spare bedroom and towels as well so yeah i'm going to just pop those in a bag for um from under the bed storage type bag whole load of pj's gym wear underwear i figured i'd just kind of filter it into this i mean look i've got freaking ski gloves in there I feel like they could probably do with being either in storage or maybe in with the gym equipment because I feel like the gym gym drawer is probably going to be the least full. But yeah, this is the entire contents of the drawers. Now, now I'm going to categorise it into the PJs, the gym drawer, the underwear drawer and kind of sort as I go so that any that I do decide to get rid of, I will do so at this stage before filling the drawers back up. So 
So here we have, I'm going to say the almost finished result just because there's a couple of things that I'm going to tweak but I'll show you in the top drawer which is the kind of gym workout drawer now. So we've got kind of accessories, workout accessories here. This is actually a bag that I got from Farfetch when I ordered my Hansa G swimsuit so it's got my swimsuits plural in there and then here is kind of like swim cover-ups just a couple of like toweling material um things that are just good to throw on over a bikini if you're sat in the garden or whatever and then in terms of workout gear i've got like hoodies t-shirts vests and then crop top bralettes sports bra type things and then over here i've got loads of space because what i think i'm gonna do not today on another day put all of my leggings in here not just workout ones because these are the only workout leggings and shorts that I've got there are a couple of pairs in the wash but apart from that that's all I've really got so there's definitely a lot of space in here to maybe just have a good whittle through or maybe purchase some more workout tops and bottoms now that I am trying to get into running a little bit more and then the second drawer is my sleepwear so I decided to initially fold and place them and then I figured you can't really see where they are and it actually takes up less room folding them this way so I'm doing the kind of rolling method got some white company PJs here some Primark these are all kind of wintry ones these are all more lightweight but still long sleeve and bottom long bottoms and then over here I've got all of my short ones and a couple of dressing gowns my linen and my kind of silky H&M both of these are H&M actually uh, more lightweight dressing gowns so I definitely think I'm lacking on the short summery kind of pajama front I've only got one two three pairs so I feel like I could maybe do with maybe a couple more maybe next Primark trip who knows and in terms of underwear drawer I still have a couple of things to tweak so I've just got bralettes um, pants and then basically all of my socks we've got loads of like thicker cozier socks here and then more kind of trainer socks workout socks and these little like hidden sock things so yeah I just have a couple more underwear to put in here but I'm just gonna get a couple more of these because they stack quite nicely on top of each other and then I could even get one in there as well so after I get a couple more organized so I do just have a few more to fold up and put within there but apart from that that is everything <sighs> I feel like I just need to put my feet up after all that organizing it really takes it out of you doesn't it I am um, going to wrap up today's vlog here with my favourites from the previous month and yeah I've got a few items that I have been thinking oh I'll mention that in my favourites section of my next monthly vlog so I will um, start with let me start with some beauty bits that I've discovered and been loving so this first one is Charlotte Tilbury if you've I'm sure you've probably heard of it before to be honest with you it's the flawless filter so this or Hollywood flawless filter this is in the shade 2 fair now in store when I swatched them I thought 2.5 was definitely going to be more my shade especially with a bit of tan on my face and leading into the summer where I am going to probably catch a bit more sun 
However, having said that, I feel like it's super blendable and really sheer in terms of the actual color itself anyway. So if you're unsure on shades, I feel like, especially if you're ordering online, I feel like you can get away with like a spectrum of shades, if you see what I mean. So anyway, this is what the Hollywood Flawless Filter is. It's like on a big kind of spoolie stick. And it kind of looks like foundation. However, it is far sheer. It's almost like, as it's claims to be, a filter for your face. So I personally like wearing this on its own. Like, look at that shine and how blendable it is in comparison to just matte and dull. Super kind of sheer, but um, and lightweight, but just really, really nice. So I've personally been wearing this a lot of the time without anything else and just maybe popping a touch of concealer on. I feel like I need to brighten you up a bit. I just pop a touch of concealer on, maybe a flick of mascara, a bit of bronzer and that's about it, especially like on an everyday basis. If I'm going out and about or doing a bit more, then maybe I will go on top with a foundation or my Clarins BB cream. But this has been a game changer. Great as a primer, great on its own. Definitely recommend. I can't believe it's taken me this long to discover it because everyone raves about it and you just see things online everyone raving about it yeah try it this is my message to you to try it i will leave it linked below i'll leave all of these items linked below so if you do want to shop any of them yourself i got this from morphe this was from selfridges it's the continuous setting mist feels amazing let me just show you the consistency so as you heard, it is a, like a continuous spray. It's not one of these setting sprays that you have to ch -ch -ch -ch. It's just flawless. It feels amazing. Honestly, it feels lovely more than anything. Um, and then obviously the finish of it is nice as well. They do have a matte, if you prefer a matte finish um, spray. I think that might be a pump spray though as opposed to a continuous one. I might be wrong in saying that, so don't hold me to that, but this again is a hero product for a lot of people never really tried it i do like the nyx dewy finish setting spray but again it's just that ch -ch -ch. whereas this is far more user friendly it feels lovely a really really super fine mist so you're not left with any kind of water droplets so i've been loving that i have also kind of rediscovered a scent this scent that i've been wearing over the last few weeks has been from jo malone but it's just this little mini how many mils is this a 30 mil so i got this from look fantastic i bought it a while ago to be honest with you but i just kind of never really reached for it i think because i just the packaging i prefer the standard jo malone packaging however i thought oh well, i'll just use it to use it up i've used it and i now absolutely love it so i'm like oh when it finishes if they have a full size version i might end up purchasing you know in the proper bottle i don't know if they do or not but this orange peel cologne from Jo Malone is delightful. Oh, throwing it across the room. Um, it is lovely. And I feel like orange peel, summer, Italy. We're going to Italy very soon. In fact, this month, May. So any recommendations on Milan, please do pop them in the comments below. I've never been before. I bought it for Tom's birthday present. So yeah, we're heading to Milan this month let me know any recommendations and then another kind of beauty item that i have been using trying out i've actually only used it once so far but i'm so glad i invested so i essentially got myself a at home gel nail kit i know this is kind of throwing it back to lockdown where everyone was like oh what are we gonna do without our salons like getting our nails done we're gonna have to do them from home I invested into, invested, I purchased a cheapo, a cheap UV lamp that was very small, didn't really work properly. The gel polishes that I bought as well, I think, to be honest with you, I just got a like kit from Boots or something that was a standard kit for about 30, 40, 50 pounds, something like that. And that included everything. So this time round, considering that just did not work for me at all it was really hard to apply it bobbled or like bubbled and wasn't smooth and um i found that it chipped after a day i mean when i go and get a manicure 
a gel polish on me would last three weeks ish so yeah it was just one of those cheap investments where i should have just invested in the decent quality stuff so i keep note of what people have used on my nails and i invested in the same kind of equipment so the first one being a lamp an led lamp i don't know if i mean i'm not a professional i don't know if led is better than uv or if certain polishes you need uv or led or both i don't know but did some research into it cnd shellac is like the kind of original shellac polish so i got their led lamp i got these from a i think i bought them from a place called nail supply uk or something like that i'll leave again anything that i can i'll leave them linked but this was on offer at the time it was still into the hundreds it was expensive i think it was a hundred and something 130 i it was over a hundred pounds like i said the entire kit of the last one that i got was about 40 pounds so very different in price point and i do think that that might be the key um i remember last time as well it not drying and curing properly and it's taking forever this is literally done in 30 to 60 seconds um and i do i've done sort of three layers i'll show you my nails now so this is just gel polish it's probably a week old kind of grown out a little bit not really to be honest with you this is like you know prime time it's lasted a good few days and it doesn't show any signs of wear or anything like that probably not the perfect applicating it applying it applicating it applying it seen as though you know i'm right-handed so doing the other hand is a little tricky but and also as well in a salon you're obviously they're working on both hands at the same time so it does take me longer mostly for the removal of gel is what takes me longer but anyway i'm so happy i also unpopular opinion absolutely hate going to the nail salon it just goes through me i can't stand having my nails done it's so weird it's more the filing the removal and the cuticles and everything like that that i hate obviously then putting the polish on is fine but speaking of polish i picked up three of the shellac brands shellac cnd brand this one in bear chemise and or i'm going to talk to you about that one in just a second then i got cashmere wrap and also cap and gown again i'm going to talk to you about that one in a second uh, but then i also got um some other colors the base and top coat i got from opi and the colors that i got from opi are one that i had on previously which i liked and it was called tiramisu for two so i was like oh i'll remember that and buy that one and then this one it's called do you take lay away which is the one that i currently have on so it's a little bit lighter than the tiramisu for two but they're good good neutral shade that's the other thing is when you go for a salon visit they're only going to be limited to a certain amount of nudes and i only ever really typically go for a nude so now i've got a good variety i know they all look very similar but i noticed the difference and then talking back to what i mentioned before the bare chemise or is it cashmere wrap i can't remember but lydia millen over christmas i remember her having her nails done with a, this super pretty shimmery nail polish without huge chunks of glitter so she used her lady used this one from jellish which is called uh what's the name of this one june bride so i decided to get it because i thought either in the summer months really sparkly nails if you're going away on holiday maybe or equally at christmas if you are neutral but what a bit of glitz or party season birthday then i decided to get this i mean it'll probably last me longer than the rest of the other colors because it's just on like the one-off occasion and i remember her saying it looks pretty naff on the bottle but in real life looks lovely so i think she used a base of bear chemise with that one and then she also her nail lady i can't remember her name if you watch her vlogs you'll probably know alex is it maybe um she has created a beautiful sage green which i thought i could maybe give her a try and that's why i got the cap and gown i think she mixes these two colors together and then applies it so it might be a bit of a faff to do that but either way i've got the green there if i wanted to switch up and decide not to go for a nude um and then i did buy these to try these uh magic remover rather than soaking it in acetone i thought if this is easier if this works 
it's gonna be so much easier however it kind of made my nails like within seconds uh go really tight and curl up and i was a bit scared of that so i decided to just remove it i might give it another go at some point or might not i'm not sure but i decided to take it off because i thought oh it feels like it's like burning a little bit so got rid of that and then just stick sticking with good old classic pure acetone i've got these bits from amazon this is from boots it's just a little nail um thing that you pop the acetone in and just soak your nails in with that for like 10 15 minutes scrape it off with a scraping tool and some nail files got this cuticle um softener as well from boots and then this to uh, kind of prep and prime the nails as well and finish them off sometimes you're left with like a sticky residue with your nail with gel polish so this again from Miley is from Amazon. It's the nail polish and prep wipe, two in one product. And you um, use a little, well, you don't have to, but this is how I've seen salons do it and how I do it. These little lint, I mean, this pack of 200 or something was a pound or two, it's so cheap. So yeah, that is, I think all the steps that I do. I do tend to go in with quite a, abrasive file initially just to roughen up the surface before doing that let me know if you want me to maybe do the full routine in a vlog at some point soon that could be interesting to watch if it's relevant for some of you i suppose not everyone will be interested in that but if you are do let me know just ran to grab this because i have worn it a couple of times which i suppose can we class this as a favorite i don't know but i when it, both times i wore it i got complimented on it so i figured it's it's got to be included anyway it's my blazer that i got which you'll have seen in my zara haul it's actually from farfetch though from frankie shop it's the blazer that i picked up it just is such a lovely fit color style i mean it's just a blazer i live in blazers all year round but especially out and about shopping and things it's quite a relaxed fit that one so it's very comfortable but i also thought it's worth mentioning even though i have only worn it a couple of times and it classing it as a favorite because that discount code is still valid for farfetch it's only for a limited time though so it's fray 10 for 10 percent off your first order so if you've never shopped farfetch before maybe try it out they've got beige trainers on their uggs nike trainers they've got blazers they've my neen bing t-shirts that i like to wear so yeah loving farfetch at the minute but that blazer in particular i did just want to give a little mention to one that i've only used a few times is the white company sea salt spray i've been using this in the aromatic diffuser it's 10 pounds it's their new one of their new summer scents love this i want the summer one as well but it's so fresh and light honestly possibly i'm gonna say my favorite summery spring fragrance that white comes you because i do love the good old winter classics that they do like now in terms of stuff to show you that's everything that i've got but i did just want to talk tv because i love my tv and not only tv but also podcasts so i have been getting into my running you might have seen this morning doing our little 5k little 5k that's that's a big job for me a 5k um run with barney i've just really been enjoying it and i got my own pace i take my time i'm just getting my body used to moving again because it's been a while since i've been in any kind of workout routine really and it's the first time that i've got that buzz for it again and when you're watching this and you're not in the routine of working out this is like me talking to past me or like potentially future me when you're not in the routine of doing your regular workouts it's really hard to get that motivation to do that first one or to understand that buzz that motivation to do it because it's just like no i would rather just sit here eat my chocolate and drink my coffee don't get me wrong i still do that but at least i'm kind of counteracting and getting a element of balance within my lifestyle with um taking up running because like i say i don't push myself i've probably been doing it at honestly i time it with hair wash day so if my hair is due a wash i go for a run beforehand or maybe the day before but um so i would say twice a week once or twice a week i've been doing a run and just loving it so i've been listening to podcasts the first time i did it with barney and especially like if he needs to be on a lead at any point on the run 
just getting him used to it. I didn't listen to anything, but now that he's comfortable with it and I know that he's just honestly a breeze to run with. He's so easy, he just stays by your side. Or when I let him off lead, he'll just do his own thing, come back every time I ask him to, which is honestly amazing. That's probably one of the reasons why I've enjoyed doing it so much. Uh, but anyway, podcasts, I've been listening to The Girls' Bathroom, obviously, standards, Fia and Chinsia, but also started the Diary of an SEO with, what's he called? Steve, whatever his name is. What's he, what's he called? Well, you know who I'm talking about, Stephen Bartlett, that's it. I'm gonna listen to more of that, but if you do have any more recommendations of podcasts, I'm gonna say more similar to Sophia and Chintia's The Girls' Bathroom, because I quite like a nice, light-hearted listen. I used to do, when I was in a routine of running before, I used to have Audible, and I used to listen to audiobooks, but after I kind of got out of that routine, I noticed I wasn't really using Audible. I preferred the hard copy if I was gonna read anything, so I decided to, cancel that subscription temporarily might pick it back up again one day but um for now i just want to discover more podcasts so recommendations for any podcast listeners nice light-hearted fun all i haven't said that i do love a crime type documentary and stuff as well so any recommendations you think that i will like please pop them in the comments below and then in terms of TV, I have been loving, what have I been loving recently? Made in Chelsea's back on. I know Love Island is coming back to our screens very soon, so I've been catching up on an old series. I've been watching season five, the one with Tommy Fury and Molly May, and that's all just on ITV Hub. I think all of the seasons are on there if you do want to like catch up. Um, so that's just kind of been like a background program. I am tempted for Disney Plus with Kardashians now being on there to maybe subscribe to that and have that as a background watch. And also another one as a kind of background watch that people have, um, or I've been hearing things about, is the Married at First Sight Australia. So I know my mum watches it and she loves it. And so maybe I'll do a catch up on that. I think is that channel four. And then what else? Oh, we started Breaking Bad again last night, which we got through maybe five episodes, four or five episodes. Uh, that's a good old classic. If ever you've seen it, or if not, it's, it's worth a watch. But this is the second time that I've watched it. I've watched it, when did we watch it? It must have been about maybe three years ago. So uh, yeah, we we just, we had our dinner ready last night and we were like, just quickly put something on so we don't have to, you know, sometimes you can spend ages just trying to find a good film that you both agree on or a series. I saw Breaking Bad, I was like, oh, should we just put this on? We know what it is and it's, you know, we've not watched it in a long time. And anyway, we ended up being hooked and watching loads of episodes last night. So we'll probably just keep watching that in an evening. Um, for now anyway and then of course the last but not least something else that i've been loving this month and getting back into is of course skillshare so again thank you so much to them for kindly sponsoring today's video don't forget to check it out via the link in my description box and take advantage of that discount code it's only for the first 1000 people so make sure to be quick if you are interested so thank you once again to them thanks to you guys for very kindly watching today's video welcome brand new month happy may i hope you have a good one and i hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys